Hey guys, Brandon Bergeron here again today out of the Academy and today I'm here with me again, Kelly Johnson. He's going to help me go over a cool way to use the lapel to trap the arm to set up an arm bar or if the arm bar fails, a great way to feed that right into a lapel choker, right? So let's get started. So we're here in closed guard. First thing I need to do is untuck his lapel. So you can either, if you really want to set this up, you can come up and you can Grab the back of his D, pull it out, and then make sure you grab the pals, pull them out too. All right. Otherwise, I like to do this technique after we've already been rolling for a while and the lapels have already come untucked just from rolling. All right. So again, I'm going to finish untucking this for demonstration's sake. And now we can get started with our with our arm attack, our arm bar, and end of the lapel choke. All right. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to trap his arm using his lapel. So I take his lapel here on the outside of his arm. And I come in. You know how a lot of people trap the tricep like this, like monkey gripping over the tricep, so now Kelly can't pull his elbow out? This basically does the same thing, but using the lapel. I'm going to grab the lapel here, feed it to this hand, and I want to make sure I grab the entire D so my fingers go all the way around. If I just grab like this, this is not going to be a good way to set up the lapel choke after the arm bar fails. So I want to grab the entire thing, have my fingers all the way around, then when I'm here, just already set up for the next move, Gonna straighten that out and make that into a nice stiff rope, all right? I don't want to grab it and have it kind of laying. I'm not going to be able to feed it well later. Right here, all right? So now I'm going to put my foot in the hip. I'm going to start getting my angle for the arm bar, just like this. I'm going to kick up, push the face away. As Kelly tries to pull his arm out here, that lapel is going to stop that arm from coming out. Push the face away, grab the wrist. I can keep this lapel if I want, just for the extra control. Hip in and get the arm bar there. But now let's say I started to go here, and Kelly's going to do what a lot of guys do when they're starting to get armbar. He's going to grab his own bicep with his hand, and he's going to stack me. And now I can come in here, and I can try to sit here and fight for the armbar, but it is very difficult to get the armbar from here. I have a lot of weight to lift up, especially since, since he's going to be driving downward. All right, that's going to make it really hard. So instead of trying to go for this armbar, I'm going to feed the lapel here. I'm going to open up my, my leg. I'm going to wrap my arm behind his head. I'm going to feed the lapel just like this. I'm going to grab right with my thumb here on his neck. I'm not going to grab like this with my pinky on his neck. Grabbing here just like this. And now he's set up for an awesome pendulum sweep. I have his posture controlled. He can't posture up because of the grip that I have with the lapel and my hand behind his neck. And he can't post with his arm because this lapel is still trapping the tricep here. So it's an awesome position for the lapel for the pendulum sweep. I'm gonna take this left arm here under his leg, and now I'm just gonna open my leg here, kick this down, I'm gonna kick my left leg forward and over here. Come right up for, for the pendulum sweep right here. Now from here, I can finish a couple different ways and try to just sit here and straighten out and kind of get like a, almost like a bow choke there, the same position where you're pulling on the leg, pulling here, and it can be strong. But to make it even stronger, I'm going to take my right leg out from underneath his chest, underneath his head here, put it over his face. Now I'm going to like kickstart it, like I'm kickstarting an old dirt bike. Just going to kick it straight, and then I'm going to run that same uh, the same motion as the boat joke again, running back. So as you see from this position, the lapel has come around his arm, and it's lying right across his neck, just like that. So when I've got this, I take this, and I'm just going to kick my leg to the ground. As I pull back, it's a very, very tight choke. To reset, do it again. Again, want to make sure you guys all have all the details, so I'm going over it again. Kelly's in my closed guard. Maybe we've already been rolling for a while, and my lapel's already untucked. So I'm going to get him down here. If I need to do that, by the way, just grab his lapel, grab his sleeve, pull him in, just so I can reach here and trap that either elbow here or go right for the uh, right from lapel. Again. Pulling this tight, wrapping my fingers all the way around the lapel, not just grabbing this thick part, but grabbing everything, and stiffen that up, making a nice rope, okay? Put in the hip, get my angle, kick him over here, push away, hit that. Again, the beautiful thing about this is he can't pull his elbow away from me. Go ahead and get it, try to rip that thing out. Nice and stuck. Just gonna pass there, click, finish the arm bar, right? But again, I pass here, I start to get my angle, Kelly's going to stack. Bad position for me. So now, again, I'm going to, I start to try to do this. He stacks. I'm going to take my leg off. 
grab around his head, my thumb close to his neck, grab him the lapel just like this. Right? Again, thumb here, not like this. Just like that. Take my left arm, go underneath his first leg here. Now the pendulum sweep. Kick this down as I take my left leg straight here. Let him roll right over into this position. And then again for the stronger finish, over the head, kick it to the ground as I pull back. You get the really tight choke there, all right? So with all the lapel stuff going on lately, you know, Keenan's got his worm guard, and there's a lot of stuff going on with looping lapels and through ways. This is another awesome way to work with, to use that lapel from within the guard, all right? Also, it gets you thinking about if one attack fails, don't reset. Don't let him square back up to you. So you have to work for that angle again. Just keep working with that angle and try, try to find creative ways to either get the sweep or get the submission. Keep, don't reset. Try to come up with a cool string of techniques. And this is a great one to start with, all right? So get out there and train this week, guys. Go in the gym, grab a partner. Say, hey, I saw something cool I want to try and start working with it. And then get creative. Try something else with it. Um, try seeing what else you can do with that lapel, all right? So guys, I'll uh, post another video here in a week or two. And until then, keep training.